Guess yeah, yep. yeah. My my name is Steve Taylor. Sorry, <laughs> Steve. Steve. <laughs> and your last name? Taylor. Taylor. Steve Taylor. Okay, Taylor. Okay, Mr. Taylor, can uh, give me a zip code so that I can pull up the file? What What do you need? Your zip code. My zip code. Yeah, yeah that's four four two five six. That's not real. Okay, four four two five six. Is it? Okay, just hold for a moment. Let me pull up your file, okay? And I'll be right back to you. Uh huh. Sure. It's probably Googling you. I hope he doesn't. Uh... In July, he's not going to find much. Yeah, but that oh, might that okay. might be a trigger to scare people. Yeah, it is. Like... It is. I'm glad you didn't give uh, your actual zip code. <laughs> I did. I did. Well, an old yeah. one, right? No, I gave him my current zip code. Oh, so wow. he's going to look your shit up on Google and try to like look Google me it. up. Be careful, it might be ID theft too. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to give him anything too personally identified. Yeah. You, 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 that's just basic I'm stuff. Look, this guy can Google things yeah, on his yeah, own. He doesn't here. need us to do it. Okay, okay. Am I speaking with Steven M. Taylor, right? Your middle name is and that is M. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. M for Marcus. That's not him. That he lied about. <laughs> yeah. It's actually pretty smart. They Google him to get some information to make it seem more legit. Yeah. yeah. And your physical address is under federal investigation. Oh, so did you man. receive any <laughs> from the local oh, police department regarding this case? Okay, I'm going to go to Walmart to get a gift card. The local police department? N no, not that I'm aware of. Should I? Okay, so do you do you want me to provide you more information, or do you want me to forward your files to the local police department? Well, I mean, I, I'd really rather not get the police involved if I don't have to, sir. They pulled me over just last week. So you need information, right? I, I what? You need information, more information. Well, I just, so, um, I just need you to not have a criminal information uh, in investigation on me. I don't really care about information. Just make this go away, man. You don't need any information regarding this case. Sure. So, yeah. you, uh, yes, okay, so. yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. So, no, I'm going to. Okay, so I'm providing you more information for that. Just grab a pen and paper and find out some important information. Okay? Yes. Okay. Are you writing right now? I sure am. Okay. First of all, write down your yeah, arrest warrant ID number. Your warrant ID number is starting with 0, zero 1 zero, zero, It's binary. 3636. <laughs> three, That's all it is. Zero, zero. Zero. Zero zero one zero zero three six three six. Is that is that right? That's that's correct. And you can write down your your case ID number and your case ID number is C P P S S Charlie P S S Peter one o one seven three K T S S Tom. Okay, C P one zero one seven three G is in Tom. G as in Tom, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, G as in Tom. Can also, you can also write down my name, my name, Officer Richard Green, and, and write down Richard. my bass number, bass number, and my bass number is I, I as an Indigo, R as in Random, M as in Member, 2563. <laughs> <His> random Member? <laughs> All right, so your pass, your, you All said right. it's your pass number? Yeah, my bass number. Okay, so that's, so that's IRM two five six three. Okay, now so that's you don't need to write. No, you don't need to write down. Sorry. No, I just want to make sure I wrote this down right. It's it's Y is in India, R is in Romeo, N as in mystery. Yeah, that's right. And my number is two five six three. Two five six three. <laughs> Went with it. Yeah, that's correct. Right. Okay. <laughs> Now you don't need to write down anything, okay? And listen to me very carefully. No. So as for the information act of 1928, you do have to write for quality the information. Purposes. What was that? Sorry? I said, 
as for the information act of 1928 you do have the right to get the information before you get arrested so as for the law i can provide you limited information over the phone but you make sure that you do not interrupt me in between while i'm providing you the information and it is also my job to make you aware that this is a three-way conference with the department of homeland security so whatever you speak or comment must be the truth and honest no no wait, 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 wait. why is the I department why is the Department of Homeland Security involved in this? I'm just very concerned. Why is it? Please do not interrupt me while I'm talking, okay? Holy shit. Let me finish my part then. He sounds just like the Microsoft guy from yesterday. Let me finish my part. You work for Microsoft too? Okay, I said. I don't know. Okay. I'm recording and starting to start a bar concert to prove you innocent and guilty. <laughs> well, I'm definitely okay. not guilty. Okay, so uh, and probably. You have found suspicious and, and you have suspicious and twisting three important laws of the United States. Number one, the violation of Internal Revenue Service Act 1956, and number two, violation of Federal Tax Rules and Regulation Act 1989, and providing misleading information to the government authority. Now I want. Now I want to ask you one question. Who is taking care of the taxes? You yourself or you have public or <laughs> uh, I, I have my neighbor do them. <laughs> Your neighbor? Yeah. Like a pri private company or doing online? No, no, no. I, it's, it's just a, you know, a guy that's really smart. He High school kid. Taxes. Jewish, Jewish. Okay, so let me tell you. The IRS has done court audit on the last five years taxes between 2011 to 2016 and they have found that there are a lot of error in section 104 or a forms section 941c forms and serial s forms and just because of those errors there is a miscalculated tax amount still pending on the name which we still owe to the government and, you know, with this. 5, 000, and your amount is five thousand eight hundred forty dollars Okay. Wow. The comment. Now I have a few legal questions which I can watch my body. So have you ever been asked by the state police or any sheriff department? What was the question again? I'm sorry, I didn't understand you. Okay. Have you ever been arrested before by the state police or yeah, any sheriff? Well, okay, so uh -huh. you, you asked if okay, I've ever been well, hold, hold on. I, I just want to make sure I answer this truthfully. You asked if I've ever been arrested by the state police or by the IRS yeah, I, department, correct? Yeah. I've never been arrested by those two organizations. <laughs> Have you ever filed a bankruptcy or any foreclosure in the past? Uh, n no bankruptcies, no foreclosures. I did have a car repossessed okay. once. Okay, so have you, what did I miss? Have, have, you have, any chicken by the have, have I what? Have you ever issued any chicken by the traffic police? Traffic chicken. I'm talking just about last week. Oh, yeah, man. I actually just got one a week ago. Can you I, make it go uh, away? I really had to pee, and if I, I just this, you know, can, passed can the car, make it and I went over a double yellow, and I knew I, should, <laughs> I, just, I didn't want to pee myself in my car. But and the cops were profiling you. This was a few weeks ago. And my last question is, is there any judgment which is still pending on the name? I, yeah. I, don't, I don't believe so. Okay, I believe that you have answered all my questions with utmost honesty. Now, proceeding further is to provide you limited information, which I believe I already did. Now, you have only two options left. Either you can resolve this matter outside the court without facing the legal consequences. Oh, that'd be good. Fight against, or you can fight against, against the government. And let me tell you, if you lose this case with the government, where well, the government is going to sue you more than $35,000. And they will be sending you to three years of federal imprisonment. Detention center located at Alaska. What the fuck is this guy even saying? Ask him if you could drop the soap in Alaska. And they will sign the property. Our risk scammer. Now this is the last point for you to say something about this matter. So you tell me how do you deal with this? What do you want to do? Well, I mean, okay, is this is this because of how my taxes were filed? Sir, 
IRS gave you the two options, okay? Uh, you know, you can He's aggressive. Government, or you can resolve this matter outside the court without facing any legal consequences. So what do you want to do? Well, I just, I just want to understand why you're, you're, you're doing this to me, man. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, I don't want to go to jail. I'm working. Okay. I'm just, I'm just really upset, and I just, I just, my, my wife just, <laughs> and I just, I don't need this right now, man. I just, I'm just so, I just can't do this right now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 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 That's when you have the gunshot sound effect. <laughs> Random private court audit on your last five year taxes. Yeah, you we know you file the tax every year. Play the coach shot and drop the call. <laughs> it's still pending on the name. I have no idea what you're saying right now because I'm just, I'm just really. <laughs> A random private court audit on your last five years taxes between 2011 to 2016. And they have found that there are a lot of errors in section 1A forms and 9.1C forms and S forms. Okay? And just because of those errors, there is a miscalculated amount still pending on the name, which we still owe to the government. And as I say, your amount. Are you listening, sir? I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm trying. You're just, you're just really hard to understand. I'm just, I'm just. Five thousand eight hundred forty dollars, including your late fees tax, the penalty thousand. Okay. Okay. I just. Okay. So, so Iris, so Iris gave you. So you can resolve this matter outside the court without facing the legal consequences of the court against, against the government. What do you want to do? So just... you tell me what do you want me to do. If it's just you want to fight a case against the government, then I have to forward the department. And in, within 45 minutes, they will be here in your house and arrest you because I have to resist the arrest warrant. Uh, if it's just you want to you just, uh, tell him, tell him I won't go down. I wouldn't let him take me alive. And he will guide you how to resolve this matter. I just so you tell me, sir. So I just, I just, I just don't. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. And I just, I just, I'm just. This is just. This is just so messed up. I just. I can't take any of this anymore. I just. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck everything. <laughs> Two more seconds, Dwayne. We'll get you out of here. Hello? One more thing I saw that I'm going to get rid of. You should call 911. I, oh, I tried to shoot myself and it didn't work. Okay, so I'm trying so I'm trying to help you.
Oh, this needs oh, to go on YouTube. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the wow. Oh, Steve, make sure you turn off the recording.